So in question number five of this first exercise, we have been given a figure which has already been taken here, which we can see is a square which consists of small square boxes, some of which are shaded and some of which are blank. So now we'll have to take one diagonal as a line of symmetry and shade a few more squares to make the figure symmetric about the diagonal. We'll also have to find out whether there is more than one way to do that and eventually we'll have to see whether the figure is symmetric to both the diagonals. So in this figure, if we consider the first diagonal by joining these two vertices, which is represented by this line. Now for this line to act as a line of symmetry, we'll have to make sure that this line divides the figure into equal halves. Which we, which we can only achieve by shading a few more squares. So let us first do that. So if we just shade these squares, the ones which are being highlighted, we'll now see that the diagonal which is being highlighted now will divide the figure into equal halves. And if we fold the figure about this diagonal, we'll see that both the equal halves of the figure will coincide. So we can say that this figure is symmetric about this diagonal. Let us now consider the second diagonal for the square. Now, if we draw the second diagonal by joining these two vertices of the figure, we'll now see that this diagonal divides the figure into equal halves and also acts as a line of symmetry. So we can say that if the figure is folded about this line, both the equal halves of the figure will coincide and this diagonal will also act as a line of symmetry. Hence, the figure will also be symmetric to this diagonal, the other diagonal of the square. So if we take both the diagonals together, so we can say that this would be the figure and the figure would be symmetric to both the diagonals. So we can answer this part of the question saying yes the figure is going to be symmetric to both the diagonals. Now let us see if there is one more way through which we can show the symmetry of this particular figure. Let us take the figure again and let us draw a horizontal line. Now for this horizontal line to divide this figure into equal halves, we'll again have to shade a few boxes as is being done here. If we shade these boxes, we'll see that the figure now is divided into equal halves and this horizontal line, if it's used to fold the figure about it, we'll see that both the equal halves will coincide making this horizontal line as the line of symmetry. Again, if we divide the figure into equal halves using this vertical line and if we fold this figure about this line, we'll again see that this particular figure is going to get divided into two equal halves and the two equal halves will coincide about this vertical line. So we can say, we can answer the first part of the question as well, that yes, there is more than one way. So one, where the figure is proved symmetry about its diagonal and then by these two horizontal and vertical lines. So this is how we are going to answer question number five. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.